Hi, welcome to this example on hypothesis testing for the Poisson distribution. Now, in this example, what I'm going to show you is a test in the lower tail, and I'm going to also show you how you can solve the problem by applying two different methods. Okay, so what is the example? Well, I'll read it to you. We've got that the number of car accidents along a certain stretch of road occurred at a mean rate of five per week. And after the introduction of speed cameras, the number of accidents in one week was two. Assuming that the number of accidents can be modelled as a Poisson distribution, test at the 5% nominal significance level if there has been a reduction in the number of accidents. Well, before we start, what we need to do is to define a random variable for the number of accidents. So we'll do that. So I'll say let x be the random variable, number of accidents where x is distributed as a Poisson distribution, and the mean is lambda. Now, what we're testing is the null hypothesis that the mean is five accidents per week. So our null hypothesis would be written in as H0 or HO, and that would be that lambda, the mean, was five accidents per week. But then we've observed that there were two accidents, so this leads us to the alternative hypothesis that there's been a reduction in the number of accidents. That means that the alternative hypothesis, H1, is that the mean is now less than 5. And we had this observed value, which we'll write as small x, as being 2. Two accidents were observed in one particular week. So if we assume that the null hypothesis is true, so I just write that in, then what we have is that the number of accidents is distributed as a Poisson distribution with a mean of 5. Okay? Now, I did say that I'm going to come up with two methods of solving this particular problem. And the first one is going to be about finding the lower critical value. I'll show you what I mean by just by way of a number line. I mean, we're expecting five accidents generally, but this can vary round the five, so there might be at times less than five accidents or maybe more than five accidents. But once we start to come down here, we've seen that there's been two accidents. What we don't know is where two is on this kind of number line in relation to what we would generally expect. So I'm going to work out a critical value, a lower critical value. I'm going to call it x with a little subscript L. And at this point, there is a 5% chance at least of being lower than this value, xl. So I'm going to want to reject HO if I am in this particular region. So that's the clause that I'm going to write here, that I'm going to reject HO if the probability that x is less than or equal to the lower critical value, xl, and the probability of that happening is less than or equal to the nominal significance level of 5%. And as a decimal, that's 0 0.05. So I need to just work this out, and I can do this by tables. I can work from tables, commutative Poisson tables that give us the probability of being less than or equal to a particular value. And here's an extract from such a set of tables where the mean is 5, and I've got my observed values x down here, and these are the probabilities of being less than or equal to any observed value. And you'll find a set of tables like this generally at the back of any statistics textbook, or you should have maybe a statistical set of tables. So what we do is we look for the biggest value, the biggest value that we can get 
that is less than the 5%, 0.05. So as we come down here, you can see that the biggest value that we can get with the probability of being less than 0.05 is this one here. Let's just circle that. And this happens when x is 1. If I go to 2, you'll notice that's 0.1247. There's a 12, just over a 12% chance of being less than or equal to 2. But if you've got 1 here, that's just a little over 4% chance of being less than or equal to 1. So we can see that from tables, XL, the closest value we can get up here, is going to be the 1. So the lower critical value is 1. So what does this mean? Well, it means that since the observed value, let's just write x equals 2, that's the observed value, is greater than the critical value, okay, 2 would be over here somewhere, the critical value is 1, so 2 is over here, and we can see that this is in the acceptance region. We would expect results somewhere either side of 5, and 2 is one of those numbers in there. Okay, so therefore we can say that we accept HO. So we would write a conclusion, and that conclusion would be accept HO, and that there is insufficient evidence to support the claim that the number of accidents has reduced at the nominal 5% level of significance. Now I did say that there was another way that we could do this, so I will just rule that off, okay? We'd still have the same hypothesis up here, but the alternative way of doing this, we'll say or, we can reject HO, let's just write this in here, reject HO if we look at the observed value here. So we'd reject HO if the probability of the number of accidents being less than or equal to 2 falls below the nominal 5% region. So that would be less than or equal to 5%, which is a decimal, 0 0.05. So we could look at tables again. From tables, we would see that the probability of getting less than or equal to 2 is given by this value here. We'll just circle that. 0.1247. So if I write that down, that the probability that x is less than or equal to 2 turns out to be equal to 0.1247, that value there is not less than 0.05. It is in fact greater than 0.05. It's greater than 5% which really means that it's in the acceptance region. We said we'd reject HO if it was less than or equal to 0.05. Okay, so we would come to the same conclusion, that is, accept HO. So you could do either one of these two methods and get the same result. What I'd like to just draw your attention to is, though, just suppose we found that there was one accident in one week rather than the two that I've got up here. If we'd found that there were one accident, we could have carried out this test and we would have got the same result that the lower critical value was 1, but this time x equals 1 would have been in the critical region in this lower tail. So we would have had to reject HO and there would have been a decrease in the number of accidents. And if we were asked the significance level, the actual significance level that is, the significance level would have been a little over 4%. It's the probability of being less than or equal to the one here, 0 0.0404, which is 4.04%. Right? Anyway, I hope you've been able to follow that example and I'd like to think that you'll carry on looking at other examples that I've done on 
hypothesis testing like this where I illustrate upper tail and two tail tests.